No! Now I boosted towards that. Uh. Oh, I got it wrong. No, 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 no. Ooh, it's scary, 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 scary. Oh, actually, that was uh, Armadillathon from Digimon. Um, I used to have these um, reference books that I would sit on the in, in my old house in a sunbeam and just read through. And my favourite ones were about the animals and the dinosaurs. And I'm pretty sure there was a pangolin in that. But what really spurred my interest was when I was writing Digimon fanfiction. And I wanted to um, this isn't just make an evolution of Armadillamon because I thought he would really got screwed over by the series. I thought Shikuamon was really rubbish. So one of my Digimon OCs was this um, black spiky Armadillamon version with purple eyes called Metal Armadillamon. And when I was looking up reference pictures of Armadillo, obviously a pangolin was in there because a lot of people will get them confused. And I was like, that's a really, really pretty animal. They're weird and hunched over and cool. Um, yeah, I really, really like them. So that's how, you know, Armadillamon and, and Disney's uh, Robin Hood were the ones that, like, <laughs> mushed together to make me. <laughs> so why do you listen to him? Good question. I had a bad feeling about this from Yeah, it was. <laughs> I like stealth computer where you, like, reach your hand up over the back of your head and it kind of, you know. Oh, yeah. Apparently. Do you always want to be second in command? Why do you think Give that's that hand? Are you that off. far away? I come from over here. There we go. I have to come in from the front. Why is that? And you still there? I have two hands. Oh, it's... They work. Just have to squick it from this direction. Balak will get what's coming to him, and so will you if I ever catch you in territory. Are we clear? Why was I doing the wedding march? Who knows? Pause. Pause. I need to call them pause instead of hands. That was one thing my editor said when I was writing uh, my books, is that actually to make it more animalistic, to change out things like hands to claws or paws. And it's amazing how much of a difference just reminding you that these animals are, that these characters are animals. Yeah, I, I wasn't paying attention to what he was saying, actually. Um, so I don't actually know what I chose. I just like, oh, Paragon, there we go. Um, trying to get my Paragon up so I can save Rex later. No, put it away. Backhand stances are useful for um uh defense. I really enjoyed the historical reenactment combat I got to do because it really gave me a feel for how to actually use weapons and what is actually practical. And some of the things that people insist are not practical are practical, but only in very certain circumstances. Um, oh, why must you trigger from so far away? Um, and a lot of things that people do are obviously not practical, although they're incorrect. That's why I have such a, a bugbear about um, people knocking arrows on the wrong side of the bow when they have the dip archery stances. Um, because so many people put them on the side of the bow with the fingertips, and when they should be over the side of the knuckles if you're going to shoot straight because of the archer's paradox and the arrows um, when you shoot them they go wiggly hello hand I can't show you because leap motion still decided that I don't exist what's that? is that a scratch? I don't know is it a smudge? did I spit on it? it is, oh there we go so when arrows when they when they shoot um, they go through the air like this. So that means that um, when you draw, the the arrow has to be over your knuckle side rather than where your fingers are here. Oh! Ah! Look at that. Perfect timing for cookie. Nom, nom, nom. Um, so, yeah, but a lot, so many animations um, and movies actually get it wrong. And they have the... Uh, they have the arrow on the other side, which is fine if you're drawing from the thumb because it means the arrow shoots in the the, the bow string uh, oscillates in the other direction. 
um, or if you have a reversed hand grip with your fingers. There are There is more than one different archery style, but the thing is when most of them reference English longbow style and then have the arrow incorrectly, there are some things that movies get correct. Um, but yes, there's an awful lot that they do not. This is very pretty. I like this. Look at that. Lovely. House. I have a house here. Uh, maybe not on the moon. <laughs> yes, they do. Oh, whoops. I thought I was going to boost. That's what I wanted. Wow, that's a lot of cannons. Boost <laughs> my shooting gun. Not a very practical idea. Do not recommend. Very scary. Which is closest? Which is going to try shooting at me first? Is it you? Please. No! Now I boosted towards that! Uh. Oh, I got it wrong. No, 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 no. Ooh, it's scary, 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 scary. Oh, yeah, thank you. I actually used to teach archery, um, at, at least insofar as uh, I used to teach kids how to draw their first bow um, at his, uh, Uh, blah, 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 at reenactment events, and I always really liked it. And when that the uh, sensation of helping someone achieve their first gold, uh, the first bullseye, was incredible. Uh, always be very satisfied with that. Sword stance for for a bat. Um. On my way. Um. I think it really depends. I mean, they're kind of... Bats aren't that dissimilar to swords, so if you've got your... But they're quite light, so I think you've got to really put the onus on where the, the end of the bat is going to be the operative bit that you want to cause the damage with. Swords, you can kind of do damage along the middle. Um, it's actually not necessarily the tip of the blade that is going to do the most unless you're actually thrusting it. Um, it will travel fastest, but it's lightest. Um... And it also really depends on the kind of sword, so I guess if you're looking at, like, a bat is probably most equivalent to a broadsword, where the weight is distributed more to- or like a falchion, where the end- the- the damage point is on the end. Um, then, yeah, you got your, like, your normal two-handed, like, oh, I can't- is it gonna get- there's one hand there. Where's the other one? Please. Give me- give me this thing, and you have a need for demonstration of weaponry. Why do you do this? You have one hand. You have the other one here, right here, right here. There we go. So it's. I mean, you've got your. Apparently, it's going to make me swear at you. Yeah. I mean, you've seen baseball bat stances. They're not dissimilar to sword swings. You know, you pick them up and you. You're going to whack, and you can, most of it is kind of most of the force is going to be in like the wrist. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm not. A, I'm not a baseball player, but I can hit things. Um, I remember this bit vaguely. Over there. Over there, he says. Behind me now. I'll probably have to send you some pictures um, for better reference because I'm. Uh, VC face is not made for. Uh, super dexterous uh, tracking and I'm a little bit distracted <laughs> so you bitch ah. oh I don't like you you move too fast where are you this looks like a swimming pool how'd you get down there you're a human. No, you're not. There we go. And there's one. There we go. 
when I when I get when I am focusing on several things at once. Sometimes I will speak absolute rubbish and I get very embarrassed when I look it over again. I don't want to be giving bad information and feeling like, oh yes, I'm an authority on this, because uh, that's bad. Is there someone right here? Oh, come on. Really? Really? Who's there now? Oh. You hurt my Garrus! You're a... I hate you so much. Uh, what can I do? There's unity. This isn't a... This is a fence. That's why I'm being shot. Because it's not a... Uh, there's no barrier. I thought this was glass. That's rubbish. Oh, I still have the organic thing on. Oh, it doesn't work for me, but it works for them. Ugh. Where are you? Oh, you moved. Are you sending out drones? I have it. Oh, you're down there. All right. Follow me. Whoa. <laughs> it's a botch box. A botch box for the pangolin fox. Watch box is gone. Where are you? Where are you? That's not you. Where are you? What are you? Mm. Ah. Humans. Nope. I will not. You humans. <laughs> Much box. You're almost more trouble than you're worth. Let the hostages go. Ma Maybe you're not smart enough to explain yourself to the council. I don't answer to the council. Or to you. I'm leaving this asteroid. If you try to I stop forgot me, I'll to post on charges. Instagram. And your helper and her friends are all going to die. Ooh! Slappy. Boxfish. Oh, it's a pie. A botch pie. Uh... I can't just let you go, Balak. Not after what happened sure. here. Me shepherd? This is nothing. You humans have done far worse to the Batarians. We've been forced into exile. Forced to survive on what we can see. Yeah, we were not very good to you. It's been like that for decades. Why take it out on these people? They didn't do anything to you or the Batarians. Didn't do anything. Aside from colonizing a world that could have been ours. Aside from using resources. <laughs> yeah, I can see ours. that. I mean, they have more inflatable options. That'd be cool. Ourselves. But the humans were stronger than us. We knew that. The council knew that. I feel like you should actually be paying attention to this. It was you. You and your kind are the only reason we're in this position. Hmm. I don't really know. We are space colonizers. We had no options. Ooh, that was a scary noise. Uh... Is that what Elysium was? A way to get our attention? Well, you got it. And when we responded, you ran like cowards. Now you want to start it all over again. Enough! <laughs> oh, is it going to be dangerous? Uh, is it going to be dangerous? I mean, is it going to be combat? He's too busy trying to catch up on uh, resharing this for Twitter so we get more, more people involved. Uh... Save the hostages. You can go, but this isn't over. I'll find you eventually. Maybe, but I made sure you won't follow me today. Those mm. charges are still on the timer. Better hurry if you want to save your friends. 
He has very shiny lips. He has no problem moisturizing. Area security. Uh, where is it? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This uh, needs to do something about this. Yes, thank you. Uh, what kind of? All right, yeah. Let's just switch back to the pistol. not many bombs left. Where do I get to them? Ah, ah, stressful. No, um, Batarians were, uh, hang on, um, kind of at war with humans, I think, for a while, and we were, uh, pushed them out of their own planet, or, uh, invaded their spaces or something like that. It's basically kind of, it's, uh, it's not really very, uh, it's not a very good kind of like I don't know if it would be considered a nativist trope Ooh. potentially but it's like yeah uh, humans and Batarans have been at war and now they are Batarans are kind of slavers that have been driven out of their, their home planet um, mostly by humans um, so obviously they have a lot of resentment to humans, which is fair, um, but also now they're apparently acting like terrorists, so it's also that kind of um, humans as a stand-in for, like, by default, like, white people, I guess. Um, yeah. Oh, I see, right, yeah. Yeah, so it's territory disputes. Where is that last one? Is it in here? Can I get in there? It is in there. Oh, piss. How do I get in? Oh, that's alright. I have not read into the law. Yeah, it is kind of muddled. Um, I, I've not... Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. I didn't read up on the law very much before this one, um, and I'd forgotten that Batari I knew the Batarians were like a, almost like a default evil race, at least until Mass Effect Three. Um, him go was so it's him. like you were kind of meant to, to be a. Uh, have been something I could have done to this is the evil I alien race that humans have an enemy of, but also things like that are never really particularly great examples of. I ran the numbers, Shepard. Uh, 57 would have struck near the capital writing. city, the most densely populated region. Especially when you have, like, it takes on a new but context when you have Thanks to you. people flying an asteroid into right? a very highly it's populated team. area, given, you know, the kind of overtones of what that means post 9 11 and stuff like that. I let him go to save them. Let a terrorist go or sacrifice innocent lives. Yeah, I, that's in Mass Effect 3, isn't it? That's not a choice I had to make. I don't know whether I let him go last time. Will you get in trouble for that? I mean, he could do the same thing somewhere else, couldn't he? Yeah, he could. Balak seemed like a practical man. Practical, but callous. Mm -hmm. I'm sure if he'd been in my place, Miss Bowman would be dead now. Along with callous. The terrorists. But I'm not going to sacrifice people callous. who happen to be between me and my target. So what happens now? Bad guys get away. Balak gets away today, but we'll still be after him tomorrow and the day. I'd love to have that kind of uh, my crew and every other crew in the alliance. Fortitude or charisma in real life. I always worry that I would not survive any kind of encounter like that. Bad guys never get away, son. Not unless the good guys give up. There's my British accent. British accent may save me as long as I'm not fumbling my words. Thank you for my grandchildren's lives. I don't think I'll stick around though. Not with the team. Time for me to get back and spend some time with my family. He says too Before many I ghosts. Go, I just imagine like something. coming around behind his shoulder and like woo. Lead engineer, I get some quality items. Take your pick. Burn it. Uh, sure, I'll take your Omni tool. I know it's a lot to ask, but that Omni tool of yours, I really need something <laughs> <you>. like that. <laughs> Shepard, I 
think I mentioned that you saved um, my kids and grandkids. What's an Omnitool? Gonna British accents that? are they're, they're kind of the extremes. They're either always okay, really refined exactly. in media. They're always like, oh, um, oh, very, thing. very prim, very proper, never say anything wrong. And then you have the kind of have you found them? Cockney, uh, like, oh, right. mate, how's it going? Living at large? Yeah, all right, mate. The, even though I have this this kind of British accent, um, I went to a fast food place drive through the other day, and obviously they caught that I was English. And this um, one of the servers in the uh, the thing, this guy was like, literally started doing the Dick Van Dyke Mary Poppins accent at me, and I'm like, ah, uh, sure, okay, thank you very much. And uh, I think he felt a little bit embarrassed. I was laughing kind of like in a slightly forced kind of way in the way you do because like I want my food, but yeah, it's not me. So uh, I kind of, I think he felt a little bit embarrassed by the end of it that he was putting it on too much. I don't know if one of the, the other servers told him to quit, but he uh, kind of uh, placated him at the end by saying, cheers, mate, at the end. He seemed kind of kind of happy with that. So sometimes you kind of play up to those stereotypes a little bit to, uh, I don't know, <laughs> make people feel better about the stereotypes that they inflict on others. It's not a really a bad, it's not really a good habit to have, but, uh, I'll hydrate, that's a good idea. Thank you. I will not go for my, um, Bojangles just now, because I need to save that. I'll have my water instead. Mm. Oops, I meant to put that in this one. Let's save that again. I don't know. I I would be more interested in um, the, the way that I feel like I would impress a. Uh, a, a native a person of a native country that is not my own is to actually be learning the language, learning the culture, and actually like having a I can't believe making it, pardon me, though. making a concerted effort to actually show I respect your culture. I want I to, you to just at least communicate lie. with you on your terms, Sacrifice in your you know, you for the many. like the I want to learn Japanese. I want to learn. Besides, I want to brush up on my French. I would like to learn Spanish and sign language. But I also understand that I'm always going to be an English person learning these languages, so I'm always going to be, you know, I'm not going to pretend to that I'm like, I'm doing it so well, you know. And I, because I want to respect the way they talk, because English is easy. You can you can learn. You don't even have to learn anything if you know English. Um, it's very kind of privileged and easy in that way. He was the one who convinced me to join the team. Oh no. Oh, that's so embarrassing. Oh, oops. Well, yes, kind of, but also like, ugh. That sounds I, awful, I'm I, sorry. I know that happens in places like Hawaii a lot too, so any kind of non-white American place will have that kind of like, people treat them like fancy zoos. Awful. I understand. We've been through enough today. I'll get out of your way. Thank you. Oh, well, yes, I mean, don't even yeah. Know your name. Shepherd. Commander Shepherd. I mean, when you get like there and there and there, yeah, they're all different. Not exactly what I expected, but thank you. Uh, I'll get out of your way. So long, Kate. I appreciate that, Commander. Goodbye. I gotta find the. Other people, two missing engineers on the surface. Uh, Himes and Montoya. Yeah. It's fairly easy to tell. Um, but then I, I say that I know. Um, 
a lot of white people can't tell the difference between, say, Cubans and Dominicans and uh, Puerto Ricans and uh, other non-white people. Because there is this kind of cultural blindness and the, the lack of uh, sort of secular education in just knowing these there are differences between these people in the same way that they have Asian blindness between Vietnamese and Korean and uh, everything like that. No worries, I will be here for quite some time. So take uh, uh, take as long as you need. What is this exclamation point? Destination. How do I remove? Remove it. Remove it. Remove it. Remove it. It won't let me. Clear destination. There we go. Do I just have to drive around and find them? Yay. You too. Be safe. I hope it is a good drive. I can't go that way. I will die. Into the red, red, red. Didn't say anything else. Uh, how much map is there left to look at? Oh, there's a bit behind me. Can I go over there? What's behind me here? Wish. Wish. Ooh. How do I know where they are? Where they might be? Whoa, that's a big drop. Oh, well, it, that's the big drop. I guess I don't have to look for these two, technically. <laughs> yeah. The, just the assumption that everything else in the world exists as a... some sort of tourist destination, and not as, you know... Um, yeah, it does. Um, it's kind of more active, I guess, than Mass Effect 2's. Um, Um, but yeah, the people seem to think that the rest of the world exists just as some kind of flight of fancy in respect to American interests or whatever. Radio again. Ooh. Is there anyone here? I like that jaunty music. Well, that's probably what that kind of, you know, people who have these rich tax, uh, uh, whoops, like tax haven homes are usually always kind of impoverished or colonized places that are like, hey, you know, we'll just set up a house here and evict all the native folk. Oh, beaches, yeah, beaches are... I heard it, uh, there's some other beaches. Uh, where was it? I was... I can't remember where it was. But they, there are specific beaches that they will uh, only direct. Um... Oh, what? That's not what I wanted. Um... I guess we'll go over here, maybe. Uh, there are certain places where the rest of the beach looks like absolute trash because that's literally where all the trash goes. Um. Oh, really? Damn, I'm sorry. I 
he's one of those people that I wish was not famous and did not have the reputation and influence that he does. I had not heard of him until he, he was already awful. Um, and mind you, the Brits have more than their fair share of that. Oh, a question mark. Where are you, friendly question mark? Are we going to find a friend? I'm going to assume not. Harden crate, no. Let the gel locked. The final entry, Montoya, communications down. I guess it's a heavy arms fire. Army defense drones, not way to pick up. He's going to investigate. Oh no. That's not very nice. That's not very friendly. Why didn't they attack me when I was outside? And where's the other one? Oh, it's over there. What? What? Oh. To the east. Where are you? Are you inside? No, you're there. I, um, two people that I worked with, um, turned from, uh, worked. Uh, uh, were Puerto Rican and they were telling me about all sorts of things, uh, that happened uh, going on there and, and what people have done. Am I heading east? Never eat, yeah, never eat shredded wheat. Here we go. Am I supposed to find a body? Yeah. How far did he go? Is there anything new on the map? Nope. That's where I was. Yeah, we do not like we do not like crypto people. Oh, it's a body. Yeah. Both of them are terrible. As in both of them are exploitative. They're either exploiting um naivety or ignorance or people's literal bodies, blood and time. Ooh. Yes, please. Ooh, that's better. Wow, I was really... Okay, I was not wearing... Nope. Nope. Gladiator. I have no quarrying armor for you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoops. Uh... Where's my Mako? It's just behind me. I think any kind of... Uh, anyone who has made their money through other people's efforts, whether it's literally stealing it or uh, f fostering ignorance to gain control of it and influence, or whether they're just literally exploiting people's labor and um, th that's all the same kind of awful. Yep. Because they know that they can... Uh, and then they'll blame, they'll blame the Puerto Ricans who live here as if it's not them that's outsourcing to other countries and taking advantage of the poverty wages and things over there. And that's how they keep the divide up. They keep people dissatisfied here. Um, what was it? There's a... Basically, scarcity is capitalism's 
number one resource basically because it they have to create job scarcity in order to keep people desperate in order to keep people uh, desperate and tired and overworked so that they will consume but also still work and desperation fuels those two things so desperation is kind of the economy of a capitalist uh, mindset it's always going to be bad Is it up there? Or is it down there? It looks like it's directly ahead. We're getting there. This is a very bleak way of getting towards it. Whoa! Hello. Ooh! G tally! Jeez. Oh no. Slaz. Mm -hmm. Journal update. One missing engineer. Found the body of Montoya. Who's the other one? Oh, Himes. Okay. Himes, Himes, Himes. It's got to be probably somewhere in this corner then. I'm over here. Oh, okay. Let's remove that because that's confusing me. Guess we'll go over this way. Started over there, didn't I? Hmm. Maybe it's here. Yeah, no. There should be way more people talking about it. Ooh. And it should be changing. Because there's a lot of pressure to have on you just to to try and exist in it and also to try and fight it when you're literally just by yourself. And you're one of the people that has kind of been very deliberately stripped of the resources to do that, let alone survive in the middle of it. But yeah, I came down that way. Meow, 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 I'm sorry it's been so hard. I hope it gets easier for all of us. It's partly why stream, like, streams like this and, and charity drives I think are so important because safeguarding the world is a means of safeguarding ourselves. Um, and also just to keep, to stay connected, to stay, um, to stay hopeful, to keep giving ourselves and each other hope by keeping going and finding things to fight back with with the resources that we have it's it's not a lot but it's something am i heading back towards there i am what i want to do is go this way Go back, go back. We, oh, we're not on the moon, we're on an asteroid. Ooh. It's a nice vista. I would like it if the map would update with something. That's something I've seen too. Oh! A ball. Ball to the face. Okay, that doesn't really get me anywhere. Alright, I guess we'll try down here then. Oh, my, my, my. Ooh -hoo. I'm scared of heights, I don't know if I've ever told anyone that. And some some moments in video games still give me that sense of oh everything below my waist is trying to retract into my stomach.
you get hyped. <laughs> oh dear. I went to the uh, National Air and Space Museum uh, in Dulles International Airport. And they have big, big walkways very high up. Because obviously they have to get a lot of planes in the warehouse. Ow. My knees. If I looked up or down, my knees just turned to jelly and I had to stand there. I think what worries me more than the heights themselves is that I suddenly get this really weird impulse to like, what happens if I suddenly want to throw myself off them? That's what, uh, P8. Um, that's what kind of scares me in a weird way. Not necessarily that the height itself is bad, but what I might do there will make it bad for me. Well, there we go. This is Dr. Himes. They found me, damn Batarians. Yeah, looking up when I'm already somewhere high is pretty bad. Makes me sort of go, ooh. It sounds like they're attaching something to the And I just kind of get scared and stand there. Oh, dear. Is that it? Updated. That's it. We can now do a new the Rogue VI. Uh, let's save it first. Might be a good time to pee. Yeah, that that would be a horrible feeling. I I hate those kind of. Mm, it's not like a nightmare, like a daymare sensation almost. Whoops. Um, oh, now's a good time for me to have my first buff. 